Yep. Oh. Beauty. So here's what I like to do, and that's your little finesse jig. Come on, go over. That's a northern largemouth if I ever saw one right there. Sweet. Got her that time. She's gonna suck it in. Thanks for the assist, Brennan. Thanks for being patient, everybody. For those of you wondering, Ned Rig. Top inside of the mat. That was badass. That's a beauty. No giants though, so I think let's go try to catch a giant on a homemade tackle. Maybe five giants. You talk me into it. Well, I guess that's the way to get it started. And I tied this son bitch hair jig head and bait that we poured up. Good end. Oh, tearing the fish. That's why they get these white marks on them. What's up, Meppers? Welcome back to uh, another video on the old Do It Tour. If you've been following along, we've been catching fish on custom baits, and we're catching largemouth, smallmouth, everything. It's freaking crystal clear water. We're back here in this beautiful backwater habitat. It's windy on the main lake. They're in a stitch of wind back here, and we are set up on some bedding bass. Today's goal in this video is to use some of our custom baits that we made up right there, like this custom jig right here, like that custom ripper right there in Brennan's hand. Badass stuff from Do It Molds. And we're gonna use some of it to hopefully catch some of these bedding bass and get some underwater footage. Also, I let you guys know this a little bit earlier, but I'm gonna link the Do It website right down below so you guys can pick up whatever you want to make your own baits. And every single person that goes out and buys something off the Do It Molds website, feel free to send me a screenshot of your order. I'm gonna post on my Instagram and Facebook stories so you guys can go check that out real quick. That way, you know, you guys can show off the, the baits that you make and everything, and this is awesome. We get to make custom baits that these bed fish have never seen before. Should we catch them on them? I reckon. Okay, deal. Come on, eat it. Looked at it at least. That was fun. I still think if we get that male out of there, the female is gonna bite. Popped out, didn't he? Quickly, right in front of the camera too. They do not like that net head. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Where to go? There he is. Chase it down. We can get him to stop thinking about the female for two seconds. Eat it. <gasps> I can't see my bait quite good enough. Pulled your pants down. Did he pull my pants around? Where did my droppy shot go? Droppings. Droppings shot. This is fun. It's nice when they're better sized. Mm -hmm. That's easy and cool. Drop shot. Come get it, bud. Oh, stupid fing female went by. Spooked him just enough. Oh, just quivering in his face. He was super engaged in it, and then she swam by. Now he wants to eat the weight. Come here, bud. Oh! Oh! 
That looks so cool underwater. I hope that that thing's like refracting a ton of light too. I hope so. It would be in the sun. Ooh, the sun. So sun. Hey, if you're that mad about it, just put it in your mouth. He's all wrapped in the f***ing line. Ned him. He's done with the Ned head this time. 100% chance. So this bed has a male and a female. And generally to catch the female, the female's not interested at all. You usually got to catch the male off of it. And so that's what we're doing right now. The male's a lot hotter. He's bit my Ned rig a few times, but he's just grabbing the back. So I just shortened the Ned rig up. And even though it's just a simple kind of dumb bait, this Ned head um, has just been crazy effective for bedfish. It's been our most effective bait out of all the things we're throwing. Even including like creature baits, the traditional people want to throw lizards on beds and stuff because supposedly there's lizards everywhere that just eat bass eggs, which I think is a total fallacy. But the Ned head, if you guys are looking into it, this mold lets you just make a ton of them. That way you're not out there wasting a bunch of money. Oh, it was in his mouth. You're not out there blowing a bunch of money. And the great thing is, like we've talked about in some of these previous videos. Ooh, I thought she had it that time too. He, you can make these with a way better quality component than what comes with the traditional Z-Man one. She's getting it. Yeah. Oh, broke my line. Right broke my damn line. That's the dumbest thing that's ever happened dude no she's like what's wrong oh. oh i thought he lost it but it's just hanging out well regardless i can probably at least snag him at some point and take it out of his mouth unbelievable is it gonna happen again Well, check your knots, folks. This is unbelievable. These bass just here. Trying to do life and we're here with them. exploiting the fish so you can make money on YouTube. Now the female is like locked tight to him. It's so weird how that happens and they just stick together now. Where's my bait? <laughs> it's in his mouth. Oh my god, I sn <laughs> snagged it and have it on there. Ooh, she kind of spun on at that time. She's getting more locked on and hotter, I think. As I say that, they swim off of the bed completely. I don't know what's happening down there, but this is interesting. Oh. Here's footage of bass having sex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, I don't think he can even bite is the problem kind of acted like he was going after it there didn't he mm -hmm. i don't think he even wants to open his mouth it's 
my pen shut with the hook. <laughs> I'm about to just snag him and get out of his mouth. What's worse, snag him and get out of his mouth or the pain from snagging him? It was in his mouth, he ate it. No. She looked at it. He looked at it, she looked at it. I don't know if he bit up my bait or trying to pop that out of his mouth. Did he lose it? Or swallow it? Hanging out the front of his mouth, like a cigar. Come on. That's gotta be some insane footage though, those fish. I cannot believe that you know, broke though. That makes me so mad. Got him! Got him! Yes! We gotta get my Ned back out of the front of his mouth. I was not an idiot and tied a better knot this time. Check this out, guys. This is a little bit inhumane, but we wanted to catch this one after a, I freaking might I just broke at the knot. Two turds, one mouth. Isn't that a famous movie? I think so. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesomely inhumane. I gotta take a picture of that one. That's crazy. Cole, this is for you. You get this one. Thank you. <laughs> Did either right on the top of his mouth. Didn't have to snag him or anything. I kind of want to put him in the live well until we catch this one, but I'm not going to. He's been through enough. All right, let's see if we can get the female now. She looks to be about a pound bigger. And very confused on where he went. But sometimes when you get the male out of there, the female will bite. Or you can snag her, either one. Got her. Popped it up and she said, hey, what's up? It's nice these reeds just break off. You bet. That was an awesome sequence. First flip in there. Open your mouth, big girl. Oh, yeah. Not a giant fish, but a good one for this lake. Fat northern fish with the old midwest finesse our most successful bed fishing bait this trip hanging from his mouth that's fun that's a pretty fish get her right back there we want her to get back on her bed i'm so glad you guys got to see all that footage underwater hopefully the gopro worked but we got the gopro right next to the bed and that was uh that was pretty crazy footage go make those babies there she goes right back to it yes <laughs> What was that? Pop, gunk. Yeah, we'll Boat, what are you doing? He's confused, don't you know? All right, a couple more flips. This is a waste of time. You got so many fish around that corner there. Oh, he had the tail in his damn mouth. Why do they like these so much? So confused. <laughs> Wonder how it tastes like. <laughs> that fish is so small. No, cool. Huh. 
How did he not have it? Oh, the whole thing looks like it disappeared. Oh, in out. <laughs> Got a dollar for it. There you go. <laughs> that took, took so long. <laughs> He's growing. Finally, Jesus. What a beautiful yellow guy that we just picked on for six hours. Inside the mouth. For whatever reason, they eat this damn turd. This Midwest finesse head and bait. Brennan, though, made some secret ones with some shimmer. You said that color's coming out? Some green pumpkin blue, Brennan? Definitely, maybe. Definitely might come out. Oh, yes. And then Brennan's secret Midwest finesse color, little male bedfish. Not a big one, but fun. She's pretty hot, dude. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, you better uh, set that like a mother next time. Did she have it? Yeah, it ripped right out of her mouth. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know she But had. I don't think she got the hook very well. Come on. I wonder what they don't like about it. I still see her nose sticking out. Put that on, put that out here. Maybe she'll come get it again. Cool, swim over there and grab that stump and pull it out, will you? No interest. Maybe if I put a turd on this. Flipping the turd. Oh, she popped her mouth open. Be fun getting her out of there. I'll do it. I'll try it. Oh, she's about to eat it. She ate it twice. <laughs> she had the tail. Oh no, it was in her mouth. She took it right in her mouth. I didn't. I did not notice that at all until I lifted up and saw her spit it back out. Did she swim off or I don't think she did. She got it. Oh. She ate it again. This is our little handmade newt guy. Basically just a little creature bait. Brennan brought these because they are just like in you would seemingly think they were great bed fishing baits. That, Oh no, I had her. All I know is that's fing bullshit. I can't see her now, she's buried in there. Well, let's put something else right in there. I don't see her anymore. Not that she could go anywhere. Oh, she's right there again, right where she is biting. <sighs> she did bite again. About to see how strong this hook shank is or in reality my knot boom yes yes she looks post she looks like she dropped her eggs already freaking good one on our little homemade ball jig put my damn nude in there she picked it up bit it i set the hook and it went right into the tree so flip the ball head jig in there and that's probably the biggest frame fish we've caught this trip as far as largemouth go. Good one on a homemade jig. Now we've been talking about on this trip how bed fishing tournaments can kind of be bad for the sport because you're moving fish from where they were at all the way to the weigh-in. But this guy, if you guys catch them when you're fun fishing, of course, 
put it right back on the bed like we're going to right here. Don't take them a long ways off. Don't go take pictures 300 yards down the bank. Put them right back here. She's ready to go. She's hot. Put her right back. She'll go right back to her bed. And she already dumped her eggs. I don't know. She was just hanging on her bed still, I guess. Let's get some more. Couldn't see her to see if it was in her mouth. Now she saw me and she spooked. Oh, it's still there. I hate that thing. Can't believe she sucked it in, I missed it. No trailer anymore. She's digesting the menace right now. She wants it so bad. <coughs> There's just like nothing to grab now. She's like, oh, do I grab the skirt? Where's the hook? I'm trying to get the hook. It's oh, a powerful rod. Well. She ripped off my trailer, but I ended up catching her on a bear <laughs> finesse chick. Not a, not a giant fish, but another solid two and a half to three pound female. Right back to her bed. Badass, dude. Cole's been wanting to get a haircut for a long time. This is just like Maribou. Yes! <laughs> on the bushy hair! <laughs> and it paid dividends, baby. Oh, baby. Just had to say something. Look at those red eyes. That was cool. He ate it. Yes! Yes!